Hey, uh, yeah. what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary people? We're back with another episode of the Woke Podcast. This is episode number seven. We have a very special guest today, Mr. Poulter. Her guest. Yes, 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 yes. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? You know, just, just uh, tell I... your tell um the audience about your self a little bit. Well. I, I'm nothing really special. Basically, I love to draw. I, I'm an anime fan. I'm a nerd. Basically, all you can find in a degenerate. Has place. an STD. Yes. All right. So, you know, before we get into the topic, I feel like, I feel like you know, not being, I'm not trying to be, like, nice. But, like, my main purpose of saying this isn't really to be nice. But I feel like this podcast is just, solving the world's problems at this point because like i've seen like you and someone else just talk and like oh my god bro yeah bro and like that that fifth, that fifth <laughs> podcast oh my god you went off yo bro i appreciate it you know that's really what it is it's just i like talking and podcasts just yeah. seems to be the best thing for me especially because you know i can start ranting yeah, like, for me, to be honest, like, I can't rant forever on my Instagram stories. I got to take it somewhere. Can't just, just like, yeah. rant every single day. I can. But um, <laughs> what uh, topics are you presenting for us today? Huh? Oh, say what? What did you say? No, I was, I, I was, um, I thought we were moving on. You had something to say? No, I, uh, you said something, so I was trying to hear. Oh, I mean, it's. I'm going to repeat it after you said what you were going to say. No, I was just asking what you were trying to say. That's how I was saying. Oh, okay. So, I mean, that's all I've That's really my introduction. I mean, what are the topics we present today? Just um, I mean, just you usually you know just get into like a natural conversation and, you know, so long. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I love, I love anime, you know, like, but like one major thing i have is the growing like cancellation of it especially on twitter like you have i think that's more not just uh specific to anime i think that's just you know it's a far deeper problem you know it's like human beings are just not designed for social media yeah like i'm I'm, it's just like my general thoughts like anime itself like it's one of those things that are that is, you can easily cancel. Like, there's multiple animes. Um, you probably don't know about this one show coming out. It's um, more. It's a lot more prevalent in manga. I would say. Yeah, like you, like I remember back a couple years ago when people were trying to cancel Berserk because of its, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, content and stuff. Basically, and you know, I. Uh... It's like canceling is such a is a very odd topic for me, you know, because like what most most uh, most of the time I'm very anti censorship and I think uh, you know it's, it's, well, we don't want to get into the social media thing, but you know I, I'm very much in support of art and different ideas mm-hmm. and free speech and things like that because I think the these what would you say the circumstances or the consequences of not having that freedom, creative freedom or freedom of speech and things like that is so bad. You know, the certain censorships like Maoist China or Stalinist uh, Soviet Union or uh, the uh, Nazi regime, whatever, right? It's so bad. And I don't think people really realize it because it's sort of like mm-hmm. this. It's social media is digital. You're not really seeing the person face to face, right? So it's very easy yeah. to demonize each other, and so, and it, especially, it's so absurd because it's a fictional, you know, content. It's like, I mean, come on now. And this has been historically an issue, but in different ways. Like, you know, people who would criticize some sort of religious tradition or something uh, would be very much shunned, and even worse, right? So I feel mm-hmm. like, and. I would say there are lots of manga, lots, uh, that I would agree, you know, this is, this may be a controversial stance, that I would agree to, to cancel or censor, right? As my personal, 
uh, position or something, and I'm sure you might too, because it's like uh, free speech, for example, right? It's like I support free speech, you support free speech, but neither of us likes Nazis, right? Obviously. So it's like I am in full support of canceling or censoring Nazis, right? But that gets really out of hand because it's like, who gets to decide that? You know what I mean? And it's like, maybe something is okay for you, but it's not okay for me. So who gets to, who gets to decide? You know what I mean? So I, that's my personal opinion that I think it should not, nothing should be canceled. But if it's something that is uh, like openly promoting hate or uh, maybe it's like overtly racist or, you know, that's just, you know, essentially propaganda and some sort of hate speech. But that's such a convoluted topic, I would say, that it's very hard for me to really find some sort of solution. I basically uh, basically said my stance on censorship or whatever, and mm -hmm. I uh, asked for your opinion. Mm -hmm. So what I'm what my stance on censorship is like, yeah, I definitely you need to censor something that openly, you know, s s um, you know, openly supports some sort of violence towards like a minority or, or something or, like, you know, pedophilia or. Yeah, know, or something like you know, something like that. Yeah. But like if you create a, a story that is supposed to be a history lesson like you have um or like inspired by history right like yeah you're inspired by history or you have, japan, japan or something like that yeah you have stories that are inspired by like design character designs that are inspired by terrible people like of course i do speak about attack on titan a lot the survey corps their uniforms are you know, there are mildly inspired by Nazi uniforms or Hanji, for example, was inspired by um, the the black angel guy with, uh, for his name was like Mingali. Joseph. Mingali. Yeah. Yeah. Mangala. Yeah. Possibly he was one of the worst human beings to ever live. Possibly, exactly. One of the worst. Say, human I would beings. say the two worst people to ever exist is Mingali and Shiroishi. Yeah, and I mean Muhammad, but we're, we're not gonna get into that right now. Yeah, and, I mean um, those guys are like more of like the consequences you look into it. But I would mm -hmm. say just like you know, like a demon incarnate. I mean mm -hmm. the things Mengali did. I had his research. Absolutely project. horrible. I remember you ha uh, had a project. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I read period. about Shiroishi. Shiroishi was a. He was like the Japanese version of Mengali and the things he did to Chinese kids and Korean people. It's just, my God. Yeah. I, see, the thing is, like, I don't read too much about this stuff. It's, I, usually, I usually get a lot of this information from you. So it, 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 it just kind of goes that way. But you know, it, you, let me make this, let me add this on to sort of defend, counter argue or whatever. So like mm -hmm. when people in uh, South Korea and other uh, nations get very uh, angry or something, trying to add something like the Imperial Japanese flag, you know, and it's a big part of Japanese culture, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's like the red, uh, red dot with like the sun rays and it's like the white. Mm -hmm. So when people in, for example, I'll make a, South Korea uh, try to cancel and shame or whatever in certain anime or something, I am on their side because it's sort of like going to Poland with a Nazi flag. It's like, well, I understand that, you know, this means different things, but the things Imperial Japan has done is on such an awful level that it's like i am more on that side you know what i mean mm -hmm. sort of like the confederate flag it's like some people say well is this stands for states rights this is my heritage well yeah but the root of it was slavery it was to preserve slavery that's like mm -hmm. you can deny it all you want but everybody knows and i'm not denying that it doesn't stand for that but it's like 
you know, the Nazi, the swastika is a Buddhist symbol, but no one cares because it's the swastika. No exactly. one's not going to think of that, right? So yeah. that's what I was trying to sort of defend other people's perspectives. Exactly. So, like, uh, um, make your... so what the, um, the imperialist Japan uh, flag, that, that brings me to a good point. I'm going to bring up in a couple seconds. What I believe is that you shouldn't, just to wrap up what I'm talking about, is you shouldn't cancel something that is supposed to be a history lesson to people, to basically narrow-minded people who want to cancel things, to cancel oh, just like any sort of resemblance it's to a very, a bad thing. Uh, cancel culture is very, uh, it's sort of like this utopian idea of this perfection of human beings. and sort of Exactly. Like you... you if you have just people who have your exact ideals, they're perfect or something like that. So uh, keep going. Yeah. And like, um, I, I feel like if you, you shouldn't cancel everything, you need to do some sort of deep knowledge research into it. Why this certain thing was created. Yeah. Was it, but at the same it, time, <laughs> you know, uh, let me make another counter argument. It's like for mm -hmm. hundreds of years and for, you know, a very long time, people like Columbus, Christopher Columbus, who are sort of celebrated as heroes, but the things these people have done would make you stay up at night. Robert E. Lee, for example, it's like, yes, you, he was sticking you up to the northerners. He was, you know, fighting for the South and for the state's rights. But however, he was fighting to for the benefit of slavery, you know. So it's like, I would understand, but I think what why people is like people. A lot of people never really had this power to speak out against these bigger nations, like someone like Korea, Philippines, or you know, some uh, Vietnam couldn't speak out against Japan because Japan was this powerful military, you know, whatever, right? So now that people mm -hmm. can have that voice, and the general public has that. I feel like it's just natural that you would see something like that. And I'm not saying that all of the criticisms are justified, but I was just trying to uh, express where these people are coming from. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean, I see where they're coming from. I sympathize with them to a certain extent. They're trying to, you know, make sure something awful isn't exposed to everyone because not everybody is very you know yeah uh, accepting adding, or adding along with that, to what you're saying i think it's like yeah. this is a what it should be is that columbus and whoever you know nazi germany whatever you know whatever horrible things in history is that they should be they should not be sort of put in a closet so that everybody forgets about them because that never happens first of all mm -hmm. and secondly it's like no 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 you should learn about it because the this is very important pieces of history and it's yeah you know, it's like exactly. that quote, uh those who don't learn from history will mm -hmm. inevitably repeat it right so it's like i feel like these things should be still around but what should yeah. be done is that you should educate people it's like Yes, yes, you know, the Confederacy, yeah. the Nazis, the, whatever, they may have certain aspects that you admire, uh, the Imperial Japanese, whatever, right? Maybe it's pride, mm -hmm. you know, nationality. However, they have done things that are so appalling and you have to recognize it. You can't just yeah, you sugarcoat it. It's like when, you know, like U.S. Pres presidents, it's like, oh, you know, George Washington, I'd be like, he treated his slaves well. And I was like, well, okay, he was a great leader. He's a brilliant leader. But you have to recognize, yes, he had slaves. Yes, exactly. was he racist? Yes. Yeah, he was racist. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean you cancel George Washington. That doesn't mean you forget about him. And that doesn't mean you recognize, don't recognize his talents, right? Because, well, Martin Luther King was a rapist. Yeah, yeah, and he cheated on his wife multiple times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, you have to take it as an opportunity to basically learn from history's mistakes. But, like, you know, obviously, 
history is going to, a piece of history is going to end up repeating itself again, but, you know, it's a stance we can use to basically improve on it. Yeah. We shouldn't cancel everything that has some sort of negative connotation. Well, if to you it has a negative connotation, I don't think you should cancel it. If it's a I think it should be I think you should educate people on exactly. why you yeah. believe it's bad and why certain people should change their opinions on things, right? Yeah. If you I mean if you see a poster on Twitter um, I'm speaking for tw- speaking about Twitter because that's where most of this happens. You, oh, I, guys, you cannot go on Twitter, man. You cannot. I, bro, I, I eat mean, you alive. I, I'm telling you, bro. I straight up nearly got eat you, you alive. Yeah, like I'm just, like, uh, if you see a poster on Twitter or some person on Twitter, like you know, saying, "Oh, the age of consent should be brought down to 13." Well, oh, God, Jesus. What you need to do is you need to cancel the man. You need no further questions asked because why the hell? Why the hell would you? Know, that's that's. Like, let me let me sort of argue this. It's like, well, you know, I believe certain people are just beyond redemption in any way. I don't <laughs> believe. I don't believe in everybody deserves a second chance. It's like you can yeah. believe that, but if you think. Joseph Stalin deserved a second chance. We need to have. You're a fucking wrong. You are literally. You know wrong. I mean? It's like this Zen. I'm not a. I'm not a Zen person. I'm not a. You know what I mean? But it's like okay, if you make that point. You and I are quite disturbed by that, mm-hmm. uh, as most people would be. However, you know, less. Now, if we were sitting in front of each other at a table at lunch or something, we could talk about it. We can explain, and we can ex. We could probably help that person understand that mm-hmm. that's probably not the best of ideas and why. Maybe not over one conversation, but maybe over a long period of time, right? Yeah. However, when you're on Twitter or Instagram, whatever, right? Maybe even a YouTube video, that, that connection is so disturbing. It's like the only thing you know about the other person is that this horrible belief they have. Yeah. Like, we don't know that maybe this person loves their family. Maybe they have friends. Maybe they're a nice guy. Maybe they just been around wrong people, right? Yeah. So when you cancel that person, that person's not going to forget that idea. What's going to happen? They'll go to something that's allowed and he they can have that opinion, right? And that will fester. And then they will start to hate you. And when they hate you, you'll hate them more. And it's this cycle. You know what I mean? So it's like like this this cancellation and this censors, I'm like deeply worried. I'm deeply worried about the faith of the world. And I think it's really, you can really see it in Japan, right? I mean, the suicide rate, especially in women, is like 40%. I mean, that is such I mean, the tragedy of that, you know, it's I, I, it's like makes my mind numb. I don't even know how we're going to escape that. You know what I mean? 